Okay, gang, this is Red with RedDragonLeo.com, and I am going to show you how to upload a picture so that you can have an avatar using uh, your Discuss.com um, commenting system. So, uh, of course, you you all have already went to Discuss.com and did the uh, sign up, I'm sure, or you wouldn't be posting on my blog. So. So after you do that, you type in your username or email like I've done right here. You go ahead and you log in. It's the first step. Now, this dashboard might be different than yours simply because the fact that mine um, is, I've added a website with it. The reddragonleo.com website is, uh, uh, it is set up, the commenting system is set up on that site, on that blog. Since you don't have a website, you might not see this. I don't know if you do or not. But regardless, you should see this. You should go here to your name, whatever your name is, and you can view your profile, which we'll click on that. And it will show you some of the sites that you post upon, how many comments you've made, uh, etc., things like that. So, as you can see, um, the different ones that I've been on and comments where I made most of my comments okay but uh, for you basically you're going to go to edit your profile and um, here you would go and you know you can type in your name you can change your name if you want so that it will show up uh, as opposed to your the name that you actually logged in with you can change it to this will be your display name to what actually displays as opposed to your actual login name and of course if you have a website you can put it here and then what will happen is every time you post on somebody's site you will notice their um, let's see not here you will notice their name or your name like right here uh, will be in blue and underlined and you can click on it and it will go to your website Obviously, this cool picture here I did for ZZB is uh, from Zorro, so we'll, you know, can show you how that you can load that that up. So I could simply go here and right click and go copy link from you know where this was posted, and and then we'll show you how to do that. But if you have a website or a Twitter account or anything you want to use, you can put that in there for you, you know, so that you'll have that. Um, so. Let's go back here to this. So again, if we were where we at, we were here on Edit Profile, and you would simply uh, put in that that Twitter address or whatever Facebook page, whatever whatever you want. If you want to put your location in, you can, and a short bio about yourself. But obviously, the main thing you want to go to here is click on your avatar and um, by default you don't have one and so you're going to go with the default avatar that is uh, the site owner whatever site you go to whatever blog you go to the site owner can change it and he can put whatever he wants as a site um, default picture I just don't bother I leave it with you know what what it is right here so that's why you see a little gray man but some sites you go to people have changed the default one and made it uh, something else so, um, so anyway, you can click Browse to browse on your computer if you want. And uh, you can browse for a picture here on your computer, on your desktop, by clicking on uh, Desktop. If you wanted to do that, if you had a picture or my pictures or whatever. In my case, I'm just going to right-click again. I'm going to go Paste. And you're going to see this Zorro picture. And I will go OK. And this was just basically where I just um, copied the link from somebody else. You could have just as well right-clicked and copied that, that picture to your hard drive or to your desktop and then and then found it that way. But I'm just going to go and direct link to it and upload it directly to the uh, site here. So it's relatively pretty simple. Okay. And then it is done. And we'll go Save Changes. 
And now here you get to drag and drop it, and so you want to drag it, and it, will, it only does square pictures. So if your picture is not quite square, you'll have to uh, resize it. So in this case, it's going to be a little bit off, unfortunately. But then you would just click, you know, save, save picture, and um, and that would um, make it your new avatar. So I'd go save, and now I have a new avatar. And um, there we go. And now you know I could click save changes, and that would be it. In this case, I'm not going to save changes. So I'm going to go ahead and close and and then I will refresh the page here to see if it accidentally did change mine. Ah, and it did. Okay, so this is a perfect example. So again, I'll, I will go to um, here, edit profile, go to avatar again, and I will reselect my original picture. And it's pretty simple. Save changes. And, um, and then close, and then I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see, it's not hard to put a picture in there. It's just a simple matter of um, going to your name right here and clicking Edit Your Profile. Right now we're on View Profile. You click on View Profile, and that's where we're at. You click on Edit Profile, and you should have a little pop-up like this. And again, you can put any website you want there so that people when they see see your uh, name here they'll be able to click on it and go to it and so it doesn't have to be your own personal website it can be like I said uh, uh, your Twitter account Facebook account whatever so um, so see uh, he has his right here if you click on it it goes to his site so we'll right click on it and you can open it in a new window and it's going to go to his pulse site Richie Rich and there you go you see pretty simple um, okay, so there we go. Uh, pretty simple, gang. That's it for uh, how to do your avatar. There's nothing else really to tell you. It's very, very simple, gang. Okay.